Well, you know something? Um, it is January 2nd, 2023, and I was going through the year in review shit on uh, the internet and things like that. And it really pisses me off that so many of the people that we hold dear to us are excluded because, quote, they're not mainstream. Um, I guess you have to be the Pope or Barbara Waters to get mainstream coverage anymore when you pass away, unfortunately. But um, I compiled a list, and it's an extensive list of uh, people we lost in 2022. And um, these people, a lot of them were basically not even mentioned in some of these uh, year-end uh, reviews. Uh, these people run the gauntlet from grindhouse films to wrestling. Um, it's just sad that, um, you know, the, the, ma the major outlets just had no fucking respect for character actors and... Um, pro wrestlers and other people unless they did something fucking um, monumental, for lack of better words. So yeah, it was a shit year, and uh, these are the people we lost, and we are going to terribly miss them, and our condolences to their friends and families. Art Lafleur, he was in The Blob, um, Air America, a lot of things, a uh, very noted character actor. Antonio Inoki, um, Japanese wrestler, who actually did the boxer versus wrestler thing with Muhammad Ali back in the day, uh, was huge with New Japan Wrestling, and uh, also was a politician. Larry Storch. Larry almost made it to 100. Um, his, his roots go back to the burlesque, but we all know him as Corporal Agarn from uh, F Troop on TV, and he did a few other things here and there. Uh, Tony Sirocco. Um, Paulie Walnuts from uh, The Sopranos. James Kahn, um, an A-lister who did The Godfather, a bunch of other things, uh, Sam Peckinpah's Killer Elite. Um, Ray Liotta, another A-lister who also did some good, you know, grindhouse type stuff, like uh, No Escape that was shot down in uh, New Zealand, I believe. Fred Ward, Another great character actor who was also an uncom uncommon valor and uh, was also the voice of Django as he was doing uh, the dubbing for some spaghetti westerns back in the 60s. Robert Morse, another comedian. Gilbert Godfrey from Up All Night, um, really funny guy, a uh, huge grind grindhouse aficionado with horror films and stuff like that. Uh, this one was sad, Kay Parker, a golden ager from... Uh, the golden age of adult entertainment. She was in the groundbreaking uh, film Taboo. Um, this one really hurt because Kay was very kind to me when uh, she found out I was going to have surgery for um, my uh, diverticulitis and was sending me healing energy. Uh, Scott Hall, Razor Ramon, the bad guy from the golden age of wrestling in the 80s. Um, Sally Kellerman from MASH. Ivan Rettman, the director who gave us Stripes, Animal House, and a ton of other great comedies. Uh, Michael Penzel, who was actually Corporal, Krish, Corporal, Corporal Kirshner in the WWE, and Leatherface in uh, Japan. Sharon Spurrell, a.k.a. Daphne from uh, WCW. Jim Crockett Jr., a legendary promoter from the Crockett family. Angelo, Mr. Uh, Big Nasty Mosca, um, another wrestler who was in the WWE, uh, wrestled Bob Backlund, uh, wrestled Blackjack Mulligan in Florida, and was just on the documentary 350 Days. Uh, Marcus Crane, deathmatch wrestler who passed away at a very young age, around 35. Joe Turkle, who was in just about everything, but is remembered as the bartender from The Shining. He was also in Paths of Glory. Ralph Sonny Barger, um, the president of the Hells Angels uh, Motorcycle Club. He was in Hells Angels 69 and cameoed in a couple other uh, biker films. Wrote a couple of books, too. Um, let's see. Paul Servino. Uh, noted for gangster movies. He was in Goodfellows, but he was also in Larry Cohen's The Stuff. Um, David Warner from Time After Time, from Peck, uh, in Peckinpah's um, Ballad of Cable Hogue and Cross of Iron. Tony Dow um, 
from uh, Leave it to Beaver. This, this Losing Tony Dow was almost like losing a family member, but we also lost Dwayne Hickman from uh, Dobie Gillis the same year. Um, you know, it, it's just rough to see people that you basically grew up with on TV just leave us. Um, Nichelle Nichols, uh, Lieutenant of Horror from Star Trek, a groundbreaking breaking role, but she was also a mean bitch in Truck Turner. Henry Silva, one of the last of the great character actors, I believe he was like 91, uh, did a lot of um, different roles, played mob guys, hit men, uh, Mexican bandits, renegade Indians. Another great character actor gone forever. Kit Natividad, uh, what can you say about Kitten? She was a fucking whirlwind. I met her once at a chiller show. Um, she was friends with another friend of mine, uh, Bill Winkler. Uh, this one came out of left field, too. Andrew Prine, star of Grizzly and a lot of other films. Um, Andrew did a lot of westerns, co-starred with John Wayne, um, another great character actor. Austin Stoker, um, from Assault on Precinct 13, Horror High, and Abby, uh, very cool guy, very cool to talk to, met him at a bunch of conventions. Uh, Nick Phillips, a.k.a. real name Nick Ballard, who directed a ton of soft and hardcore porn in the late 60s and early 70s, and gave us the first woman serial killer in Criminally Insane. Uh, let's see, William Olson. Founder of Code Red DVD, uh, crazy personality, but he gave the fans what he wanted, including finally the farmer. <sighs> Albert Pun, uh, from Sword and the Sorcerer, and a bunch of uh, Full Moon features. Stuart Margolin from uh, the Rockford Files, and was also uh, a roommate with Sid Haig back in the day. Craig Ledbetter, who gave us uh, European Trash Cinema, the magazine. Howard Hessman from WKRP in Cincinnati. Louis Anderson, another great comic. Ronnie Spector, a uh, great singer from back in the day Ron, uh, with the Ronettes. Bob Saget, uh, this one came out of left field also. Sidney Poitier, uh, the first uh, black actor, I believe, to have won uh, a Best Acting Award. Peter Bagdanovich, uh, mainstream director, but directed Targets, which was arguably Boris Karloff's last great role. Um, Max Julian uh, from The Mac and a lot of other black exploitation films. Charles Robinson from uh, the, um, Night Court, actually. I almost once said WKRP. He was also in um, Sugar Hill and uh, Her Zombie Hitmen and uh, The Black Gestapo and a bunch of other films. Richard Donner, the action director from the Lethal Weapon series. Hal Holbrook, who was a pretty respected actor, but also appeared in a little horror film called Rituals. Uh, Frank McRae, um, he was in Dillinger, Used Cars. Um, uh, let me see what else he was in. I think he was in 48 Hours as a cop. Um, he sort of slipped through the cracks and uh, unfortunately passed away in uh, 2022. Barbara Shelley from the Hammer films. Gregory Sierra from Barney Miller and also a bunch of westerns, including uh, The Wrath of God. Blackjack Lanza, uh, one half of the legendary tag team, The Blackjacks, with Blackjack Mulligan. John Huber, a.k.a. Brody Lee, who had just signed with AEW and died from a lung disease. Oh, God. And last but not least, Nick Tallow, who was in uh, Dawn of the Dead and Night Riders, and did a lot of convention appearances and was a really cool guy. Uh, it's really hard to say goodbye, but we here at Grindhouse Resurrection honor the people that gave us the entertainment, the TV series, and the wrestling that we all know and love. So I wish them all, you know, peace, eternal peace, rest in peace, whatever the fuck you believe in. And it's just sad that, you know, so we lost so many in 2022. I'm going to pitch something else out there. I have a lot of played once DVDs laying around that I either bought double copies of or um, just upgraded and don't need it anymore. So I probably got about anywhere from 30 to 50 DVDs that I'd like to do a little yard sale maybe here uh, during uh, this week, maybe next week. 
at $5 a piece plus $4 shipping for the first four. So uh, if anybody's interested, feel free to leave it in the comment section so I don't just waste my time spilling off a bunch of shit here. So um, until next episode, stay safe. Wish everybody a happy new year again. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for tuning in. And above all, stay safe and we'll catch you on the flip side.